page where everything is just going wrong. It's just... Uh. Of course, if you want to feel justified with, with a result, there's two ways to go about it. You can either completely thrash the other side or you can come from behind and, and beat them. And that's what we did against Ipswich. And they took the lead and they must have thought, woo this is brilliant, this is. And we've managed to rip off the Leicester fans out of £32.50. Or those that bought on the gate apparently paid £40. £40. I mean, it's absolutely disgusting. Ticket prices in football are shockingly disgusting, especially when you consider that people are struggling at the moment. But that's beside the point. We won. And you can shove your £32.50 where the sun doesn't shine, Ipswich. And of course, coming up, we have Millwall. And I'm expecting police overload tomorrow. It always is the case when we play Millwall. It's just... Yeah, Millwall had a reputation. And they probably still do have a few thugs around. I mean, most clubs, I'm sorry to say, do. Um, hooliganism has pretty much been eradicated from, from the game, if I'm totally honest. I haven't seen anything for years that, that would that would worry me, and that includes trips to Millwall. But still, I'm expecting to turn up tomorrow, and there'll probably be only a couple of hundred Millwall fans there, and there'll probably be three police officers to every Millwall fan in the stadium. And why? Do, the majority of Millwall fans don't warrant that kind of attention anymore. The other year, we, we played Hull and we had to fly to Manchester Airport to go to the game. And as we were travelling down the M62, it was the Leeds-Millwall game that, that was a bubble game. And we went past the travelling Millwall supporters. And there were about three coaches of them. And yet, in front were riot vans and at the back were riot vans and there were squad cars taking up the middle lane of the M62 and there were bikes everywhere and it, it was almost a, a it was almost like a procession or, or they, they practically closed the motorway to to bust these highly dangerous Millwall fans to Elland Road and I just thought is that really necessary I mean who's paying for this the people are paying for for what? I mean, what, what are the Millwall fans going to do? They're going to overpower the coach drivers and, and suddenly stop on the motorway or stop in the, you know, take a detour to Leeds City Centre, which isn't actually anywhere near Elland Road where they want to be for the football, and start kicking off. It's not going to happen. It's not really necessary, is it? And it just makes a mockery of the, the, the police intelligence agencies. I mean, I know who the troublemakers are at Leicester, not by name, and I don't know them personally, but I can go to a game and say, yeah, he was a bit tasty back in the old days. But to be honest, these, these guys aren't doing anything anymore. They're just going to the games. They're not, they're not looking to kick off anymore. It just doesn't happen. It, it, and, and what for? And, and of course, it affects all of us then. We all get treated like criminals. So there'll be loads of police out and about tomorrow in town because Millwall are coming. And people that don't go to the football will be out in town and, and someone will say, oh, it's Millwall, Leicester. And then people will think, oh, football fans, we best not stay around too long because we don't want to be around when they all come out and start scrapping in the high cross. It's not going to happen, please. Can we just have a little bit of common sense and just leave the fans alone? Just let us get on with watching the football, please. And I'm surprised there hasn't been a film made. Millwall. Starring Jason Statham. I mean, it's about the only film he hasn't done, has it? I mean... Because could you imagine it? I don't even think he'd be hard enough to, to portray what Millwall fans are supposed to be like. 